Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to iMedia TV. I'm your host, Zim from iMedia TV, and welcome back to Late Night News, our top story of the day. We talk about some of the chilling of free speech on college campuses. But first, our headlines for the day. Hurricane Milton increases to a Category 2 hurricane as Florida prepares for massive evacuations. A Mexican mayor was assassinated days after taking office. And Speaker Johnson won't say Biden won the 2020 election, raising worries on the 2024 process. On to our main story. A year after the, the into the Israel Hamas war, students say there is a free speech chill on college campuses. This idea that I might say the wrong thing kind of scares me, Linda says, who studies political science. You have to tiptoe around politics until one person says something that signifies they lean a certain way on an issue. He has seen friendships, including some of his own, end overviews about the war in public. He keeps a stance for himself that future employers will vote against him. Before October 7, there wasn't really a big fear. A year after Hamas's attack in southern Israel, some students say they were all going to speak out because it put pit them against their fears, professors, or even potential employers. Social bubbles have cemented along the divisions of the war. New Protest rules on many campuses raise the risk of suspension or expulsion. And tensions over the conflict burst wide open last year amid emotional demonstrations in the aftermath of the October 7th attack. In the spring, a wave of pro-Palestinian TAM encampments led to some 3,200 arrests. In a recent class session on gender in the military at Indiana University, sophomore Michaela Kaplan said she thought about mentioning her female friends who serve in the Israeli military, but in a room full of politically progressive classmates, she decides to stay quiet. Compared with a much larger campus protest of the Vietnam era, when few students openly supported the war, campuses say to appear more divided. A former president of the University of California system for May, the issues feel more personal. The faculty are at odds with each other, the student bodies out of each other, and there's war ideologies going on. I'm just going to say for the record that the way that this is being framed by the EP is kind of disingenuous. Let's be so fucking for real. It is like, on one side you have the, pal the, the pro-Palestinian people who want, who don't who don't even who like there's some sh probably sure that don't think israel deserves to exist but like by and large it is in, it, they are angry at the as an affront to what israel is doing to the people of gaza it is you know you know like i i, I mean i've seen the videos of people wearing is like of, of, of israeli soldiers that are very visibly israeli soldiers shooting unarmed civilians in cold blood like it's 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 not it, there's not any debate about that israel has been committing obje objectively have been committing war crimes the problem is, is is that in america america is a very pro-israel thing because there are not only geopolitical reasons why america first support them if america stopped supporting israel tomorrow they would absolutely fall into china or most likely russia if we're being if i'm being so honest about it you know because you know politically russia is much further is much closer to how fascistic israel is compared to america um ultimately at the end of the day uh you know the only way there's going to be peace in 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 you know in palestine in israel is is if uh the israeli state is dissolved uh the the, the country is turned into a secular democracy and every individual palestinian or israeli has equal voting rights and the country is sort of overseen by an international committee to make sure that, you know, they're not immediately doing, you know, it's not, it's that they're not immediately, like, relapsing into the bullshit. Um, like, to the point where, like, another country has to come in, write their fucking constitution, and, you know, there has to be a law in the book day one saying that, you know, you can, that, uh, you that uh any like a law can laws cannot be made um on religious grounds you know that type of shit like it's got to be like militantly secular that's the only way that like there's going to be peace any kind of peace in that country you know that's them's just the breaks also to put all the motherfuckers that were born in other places like the fact that there's some dipshit in like right-wing lunatic in brooklyn colonizing like 
other people's land and shit is disgusting. Like, just deport all the motherfuckers that were born somewhere else. If you were born within the mother, in, in, within, if you were, if you were born within, if you were, were are an Israeli citizen or the child of an Israeli citizen, you're good. You, you, you're good. But like, if you were like one of those motherfuckers that did birthright and like you became you, like you you like became an Israeli citizen like that like fuck off go home go back to Brooklyn and get and finish doing your your bullshit tech job fuckhead hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video outside of live streams or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ass, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have great day.